So what, uh, what is your first memory related to dance? Um, well, I grew up in, in uh, quite a remote part of the country in Scotland and I probably didn't see much dancing. I was probably participating in it first, doing, uh, doing Scottish country dancing at school because everybody had to do this Scottish traditional dancing. Um, so that's probably my, my earliest memory of being at primary school, probably about six, seven years old. And is there a music uh, sound or a soundtrack uh, meaningful for you or for your work? Um, <clears throat> with my work mainly, I'm, I'm working a lot with materials and textures and uh, objects and, um, and, and I, I think often the sound comes through that so I try not to impose anything unless it's to somehow uh, it, it, um, exaggerate or emphasize that so often I use the sounds of materials themselves to, to create some kind of sort of sonic architecture I guess. Um, if you could choose the three steps or movements uh, to represent dance uh, which one uh, would three. you choose? Three steps, movement, to represent dance. <laughs> That's a really difficult question. <laughs> um, I'd say it'd be very functional things or, or quite sort of uh, things that we all experience probably, so falling over and getting back up and uh, being being still maybe that sounds very minimal and <laughs> uh, stripped back but I think yeah falling standing or lifting uh, they're making the most of gravity and being at rest good the last one is uh, who would you like to dance with right now <sighs> I think I'd like to dance in the river <laughs> I feel like I need to um, I need to be a bit refreshed. I've been working quite hard recently. I feel like I, I need to go and jump in the river. And uh, I don't know if you would call it dancing, but whoever wants to come along, I'd, I'd be happy to splash around. Okay, thank you.